As one of Africa's fastest growing cities, Kampala's industrialization has been linked to the rapid expansion of its residential, commercial and industrial sectors. The largely unregulated development of the industrial sector has resulted in a negative impact on the quality of Kampala's water supply. The impact of industrial wastes on the water quality in Kampala is one of the greatest challenges we have in water resources. Ideally, 80% of the industries in Kampala drain into the inner Massishan Bay, which is both the recipient of the waste, but also about four kilometers away, we have the intake for drinking water supply for Kampala. With the ever-increasing impact of industrial pollution on the water supply, one of Kampala Capital City Authority's challenges has been how best to mitigate harm to the environment while avoiding having a negative effect on the growth of industries. We were having challenges with the industries. Actually, the industries were looking at us as the police trying to catch them. They thought that whatever we were doing, whatever we were trying to tell them to do was really against their businesses. Many of them would hide from us, some of them would discharge wastewater at night, some of them would get confused by the action because we used to have actions taken by different agencies in an uncoordinated manner. Basically, we realized that there was a gap in terms of uh, coordination among these agencies and uh, it was important that uh, we strengthen the, the synergy. In 2012, to better tackle these issues, KCC led the formation of the Kampala Pollution Control Task Force, a committee combining the forces of public institutions with a mandate in pollution control within Kampala City. Namely, the Directorate of Water Resources Management, KCCA, National Water and Sewage Corporation, and National Environment Management Authority. The private sector and civil society were also brought on board through Uganda Manufacturers Association and Uganda Cleaner Production Center. The PTF was supported by the GIZ reform of the Urban Water and Sanitation Sector (RWAS) and the International Water Stewardship Program (IWASP). The PTF aims at strengthening cooperation both between the member agencies as well as between the public and the private sector. We've been working with the with the task force since 2013. Um, addressing mainly wastewater challenges in Kampala. Um, we know that Kampala has a big wastewater problem, not only from the private sector, but also in the public. Um, so this, is, uh, this program is geared towards supporting uh, private sector for them to um, enhance their, their wastewater treatment capabilities. We are looking at compliance, and above all, not compulsory compliance, voluntary compliance. So the Pollution Task Force has the biggest responsibility of asking industries to be responsible, asking industries to regulate their emissions, asking industries to regulate their outflow, and above all, emphasis of the aspect of recycling. The other function of the PTF is also to work together in terms of uh, developing joint actions and interventions that can be able to support industries to self-monitor, self-regulate, uh, uh, besides the normal enforcement uh, uh, measures. In April 2016, the PTF launched the Kampala Green Industry Campaign, the GIC 2016, aimed at promoting sustainable economic development, competitiveness and environmental quality in industries within Kampala. The campaign had four industry categories, namely food and beverage, metal and chemical, garage and fuel station, as well as textile, foam and packaging. So what we're doing right now is we are heading the green industry campaign. And in this campaign, we are creating awareness and encouraging industries within Kampala to become part of the effort to have a clean environment. We are encouraging them to make their factories compliant in terms of waste management, wastewater treatment, uh, effluent control, so that these pollutants or effluents from their production processes do not end up polluting our water sources and our environment, and therefore making Kampala healthier for the people that live and work in, in it. 
Uh, green industry campaign is an incentive-based approach, basically to enhance our competitiveness within the industries, but also with the aim of improving environmental performance. So we work together with partners like KCCA, other regulators, but also institutes like the Uganda Clean Production Centre to incentivize businesses um, to make their production more efficient uh, from a resource perspective. That helps to save the company's money, which is very important as a business incentive, but also makes it more sustainable from an environmental perspective. The Green Industry Campaign rewards those who have done um, a lot in this, uh, in this regard and uh, again uh, rewards with uh, small investments which uh, the companies can use to make their production even more efficient and even more green. Uh, cleaner production, which is now termed as resource efficiency and cleaner production, is an integrated strat strategy applied to products, uh, processes and services that you reduce risk uh, to the human beings and the environment. After the receipt of 45 expressions of interest, all 45 industries underwent a baseline data collection to assess the status quo. Based on the baseline, 20 industries were selected to proceed in the GIC and were offered a fully funded 3D training implemented by UCPC based on the Resource Efficiency Cleaner Production RECP program. The training phase started immediately after the general training for all the 45 industries and ended in December 2016. So it's not just that this is the a requirement or a statutory requirement mm -hmm. by you also. One is the education and the learning behind that. And the second thing which was provided are the tools to actually uh, do things better. After the training by UCPC, the implementation phase began in which the industries could implement the improved cleaner production practices at their premises. Fourteen industries entered this phase of the GIC 2016. So as an organization, we've benefited, but importantly, uh, we believe that the environment will be better uh, for the initiatives we've undertaken. When we do on-site trainings, so many people get to get a chance to get the information and therefore emphasis and monitoring and controls are more efficient. We are powers to close industry. But why do you close an industry? You need to support it to comply. And when we come around, we want to ask, uh, how, how is this area? How is this area? How are you doing it? When they know exactly what they need to do, when they know exactly what the outcome should be. So we want to move towards self-regulation. Now, us as a, a final regulator, our work has been made easier. Okay? Even with a few inspectors, I can attain more results than before. We've had a few industries joining in in this campaign but going forward we'd like to see many more joining because one thing we've noted those that have been part of this have actually appreciated what goes on especially when you take them through the training they stop seeing us as people coming to punish you know stick stick you know a carrot this time is being applied and we think that's the way to go and we have been overwhelmed by the positive response they have given us every time we've gone to them, every time we've invited them. Uh, they've opened up their factories willingly and asked us to show them what we think can be done to improve their processes and, and byproduct management. GIC has given us lessons. We've learned good lessons and practices. And as I tell you, as I told you, our work covers the entire Uganda. This is going to be less this is going to be our change tool agent or approach to regulating industry across Uganda now. Because it works in Kampala, can work as in Uganda. Following a year of various GIC 2016 activities, the award ceremony took place on 13th April 2017 at the Kampala Sheraton Hotel to award the best performing industries and to appreciate the efforts of all participants. During the award ceremony, all participating industries obtained certificates of participation. The best performers received awards, a Certificate of Merit and a subsidized wastewater management related investment sponsored by IWAS. The best performing industries of the GIC 2016 were Harris International Limited in the Food and Beverage category, Uganda Batteries Limited in the Metal and Chemical category, and Mogus Uganda Limited in the Garage and Fuel Station category. Really, we are going to work harder and harder next time, so I am convinced, I'm optimistic that we shall be winners after this.
next year, the other year. The password that now is being used is continuous improvement, continuous improvement. What we do today, tomorrow we want to do it differently and better. And that is how we have arrived at this award. It has elevated our, the level of awareness in terms of uh, sound environment practices. So we are over the moon, to say the least. With the success of the GIC 2016, the Kampala Pollution Control Task Force aims for an increase in public-private partnerships in transforming Kampala's industrial sector into a green economy.